shipments of long-range missiles to Kiev may expand buffer zone toward Poland. Medvedev, the required width of buffer zone in Ukraine to protect Russia's territory may reach as far as the Polish border if the West sends Kiev long-range weapons, Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman Dmitry Medvedev wrote on his Telegram channel. Medvedev recalled President Vladimir Putin's words about the need to create a buffer zone inside which it will be impossible for the neo-Nazi regime to hit objects on Russian territory. Of course, including all the lands that have returned to our country, Medvedev explained. Once the Kiev regime uses Storm Shadow Scalp EG missiles with a range of at least 550 kilometers, when the distance between Belgorod and Kiev is 429 kilometers, practically the entire central and most of the western parts of Ukraine fall within this sanitary zone, Medvedev said. In other words, there must be Russia everywhere, 550 kilometers plus 70 to 100 more to be sure. Otherwise, the security of our cities and villages cannot be ensured. If it goes on like this, the guaranteed sanitary zone will be somewhere at the border with Poland, or even inside Poland, the deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council suggested. All the same, the moronic NATO strategists sincerely want almost the whole of Ukraine to be under Russia's control, Medvedev added. Russian President Vladimir Putin said during a visit to China that Moscow's offensive in Ukraine's northeastern Kharkiv region aims to create a buffer zone, but that there are no plans to capture the city. The remarks were Putin's first on the offensive launched on May the 10th, which opened a new front and displaced thousands of Ukrainians within days. Ukrainian troops are fighting to halt Russian advances in the Kharkiv region that began late last week. In an effort to increase troop numbers, President Vladimir Zelensky signed two laws allowing prisoners to join the army and increasing fines for draft dodgers fivefold. The controversial mobilization law goes into effect. Russia enlisted prisoners early on in the war and personnel shortages compelled the new measures. The legislation allows for parole from serving a sentence and further enlistment for military service for a specific period for some people charged with criminal offences. It doesn't extend to those convicted of crimes against Ukraine's national security. <laughs> Вот эта вся нечисть летит в сторону элеватора, в сторону порта, короче, побережья туда, на терминалы гахают там, блядь, и ПВО работает. Короче, жесть, вот они подряд идут, суки. Просто, просто мрак какой-то, вот он, козел. И он следом еще один, три подряд. Вот они летят, они не переставая, рой летит и все. Вот за минувшие минут 15 уже штук 20 пролетело. Это просто мрак какой-то. ПО работает. Короче, можно сказать, не работает от слова совсем. Блять! Нихуя себе! Все, пиздец. Машины там стоят. Он, он вот прям сюда вот ебал, вот в эту. Ебаные. 